Okay, here's a useful tool for um, model car um, racing. Um, you can check your electric um, electric motor with this um, G-Force motor analyzer. It checks um, the KB rating. You can do motor timing. You can check the noise as well, which may or may not be useful. Um, and you have to you can set up the number of poles of a motor. This is a two pole as used in a one tenth electric racing so one useful thing is um, to check the end bell timing uh, on end bells you often have um, just a zero mark and plus and minus and you don't know how many degrees you're setting now uh, you connect this up by having a battery the 2s lipo and uh, you have to connect the sensor lead and uh, the ABC wires which come out and you connect to ABC on the top of the motor then to check the timing all you have to do is press this by the way on this motor I've set the timing fully uh, low uh, on the scale as far as low it, it will go and according to the the manufacturer's blurb here it says it's come set at 30 degrees well I've set it uh, zero uh, I'm not, not zero mark, just the minimum position you can turn the end bell and we'll see what it comes out at. So you just press this, press the start. It starts running the motor up. And when it's finished, you get a read in. And it says oh, 30 degrees. But another extra thing it gives you is the um, uh, the number of degrees on each of the sensors. Now these two pole motors have got three sensors because they're three coils. And a properly made motor should have identical readings, ABC 30. So that's excellent. Now the other thing you can check is the KV rating. Now this is a 13.5 and according to the book on the 13.5 it's got a KV of 2445 it should draw 1.2 amps off load um, now to check the KV I, can, I press this this is press start and turn and it's, and then you, uh, that's the voltage of the LiPo. You have to ramp up the power slowly to max. In the corner of this, the KV rating is 28,000 and it's drawing 2.2 amps, which I think is more, more realistic, 2.21 than 1.2, they say. But the KV rating is quite high gives you the RPM as well. So I, either this is inaccurate or their KB rating is wrong. Now um, if we just go back to the screen let's look at the um, the noise level. Just press that, press and turn. It says it's 80 4 dBs which I can hear it buzzing away. I don't know if that's good or bad actually. <laughs> we'll have to try a few more motors. So just turn that off. So um, what I'll do now is I'll just turn the end bell on this motor to max and uh, we'll see what um, the maximum timing I can get. Okay, I've set the timing on the end bell to the maximum position or plus max and I'm uh, going to do the timing again, see what we get. So you press this and press the start. Okay, 53 degrees, so minimum is 30, max is 53. Uh, and the individual ones 53, 50, 52 which is close enough 
Now, because I've put it on advan on the maximum advance, it might be useful to see if the KV rating changes, or whether it makes any difference with this tester. So we press that and turn. Press and turn. Press. And turn it up. Well, it's now showing 36 kb, and the revs have gone up, so, and the voltage is a bit lower. So, um, the kb rating, you'd have to check it, um, at, at, if you want to compare motors at the same M-bell timing. And I should, should think the noise level will have gone up now, too. It's 93 dBs now, because it's going faster. Anyway, quite useful um, to test in motors. It's very easy to connect generally the wires, and it just lays in this cradle, which has got some little rubber bands to stop it by vibrating. Here's a Thunder Power 13.5 turn motor, which we can compare to the previous one. Now this one has got on the M bell is nicely marked with um, actual degrees from 0 up to uh, 60 by the looks of it. And I've set it to 30 on the scale. Another thing you can do with this test is just once you connect the sensor lead, You've got um, some sensor detectors at the back, those little red lights, and if you turn the shaft manually, it should step through the three lights. It goes one, then two, then one, then two, like that, sequentially. Anyway, we've put the, got the motor in there. <laughs> Doesn't really rest on the rubber bands very well, but um, never mind. Uh, I've said, as I said, I've said it's a thir 30 on the end bell, so let's see what it measures. So 33. And the 31, 34, 34, well, I don't know how accurate this is, but if um, the previous motor showed the 30 degrees as dead accurate, so this implies that one of these sensors is a few degrees out, which will affect the performance of the motor, definitely. So um, it sounds a lot noisier as well, because it, it's not actually sitting on the rubber bands. I don't know if they're adjustable. Um, anyway, let's look at the KV rating. It's probably gonna vibrate too much if it's not on those rubber bands. I think they can be pushed down. Let's have a look. Let's just push them. Well, they've got grooves, but I'll, I think I'll move them out of the grooves. Try and stop it vibrating. Yeah, that seems better. So, uh, well, let's try the noise level. Eighty-eight dB, ninety dB is about what the other one was. So I guess if the um, bearings, I think, will be the only thing that can make most noise. Obviously, it's going to be okay. So let's check the KV rating now. KV rating. Thirty-one kb. Uh, that's much higher than the previous motor, but that, when it was set on thirty degrees of advanced timing, so that's um, well, you can use those figures, I guess. For um, it must give more torque with that timing level than the other one. So pretty useful, um, quite useful tool. If you've got a lot of motors, or you want to check the advanced timing and set it accurately. So um, very easy to use.
um, don't know, the noise level thing doesn't seem much use because you can hear a motor if it's noisy or not. So um, the current draw, well, if you've got a faulty motor, that'd be pretty high. So it's just a useful thing to have on there. And of course, the RPM, um, well, it's off load and a lot of motors, when you put them on load, the RPM will be a total different figure. But um, it's an indication. Here's another 13.5 turn. This is a Hobby Ring Ultra Sportsman. It's the one that has a, a fixed end bell. You can't even take it apart. No adjustable time in. It's a cheap motor. In fact, it's the one I use on my dyno uh, rig to test speed controls as it, it's, it's not um, a heavy current drawer. And uh, if there's anything wrong with the speedo, it's unlikely to burn either of them out. Anyway, I've put it on the rig, we'll see how it compares to the others. Um, let's just do a um, KV test. Okay, flat out, 28,000, which is a KV and 22,000 RPM. But the current draw is very low. In fact, that's the sort of current draw that the first one suggested it should should be. That first motor I tested. Anyway, let's um, see if I can get the menu back up. Oh, here we go. Let's check um, the motor timing. Press and then press and turn. Now this is a fixed end bell with no adjustable timing, so let's see what it actually is set at. Well, it says 24 degree average. <laughs> We've got a 24, a 28 and a 20. Uh, well, this is a cheap motor and I think um, that pretty much shows that you're not going to get great performance out of this. Especially if it was a handout motor or a you know, control motor. <laughs> they're gonna, it looks like they're going to vary quite a lot. Anyway, uh, it's a 13.5 and it is useful. So it just goes to show you the sort of things you can measure uh, if, if you like messing around with things like this. It'd be quite useful maybe as a tester if someone brings a motor in and says it's rubbish, got no power, etc. At least you can check it.